Good morning, Terry. Good morning. Good morning, Erica, and everyone listening. So this morning, this is what tea time with Terry or Tuesday Terry, Terry tea Terry. time or with Terry Tuesday. Whatever, T -T -T. whatever we go with. <laughs> whatever we go with, we'll figure it out one day, right? Yeah. Um, so this morning we we decided that you had a lot you wanted to share, and so we're going to hang out and start sharing on Tuesdays because I, I think we'll still put this on Tuesday. We'll put it out there on Tuesday, yeah, as like a treat, you know, tea time with Terry, so that we could just take these small steps to to do small little meditations and actually learn and understand. There was so much when people say meditation that I wish I had learned two years ago when I started doing it to actually like make me more comfortable because people are like, am I doing it? Am I doing it right? I notice people still are like, am I doing it right? And they, they've heard about it. They've been all around it, but they still never feel too uh, relaxed and comfortable with how it's going for them. Some people too, they struggle with not being able to just sit there and just sit still. And from what I've learned, you don't have to just sit still. You can, some people are active meditators, like I could mop and vacuum and move around or I could sit down. But then on top of it too, like some people maybe feel like, oh no, I fell asleep. And it's, you know, to my understanding, they're not really falling asleep, are they Terry? No, no, you're 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 just moving into a different brainwave state. Um, so you feel like you're sleeping. That's because your your body has relaxed, but your mind is still awake and aware. And our hearing is on all the time. So even though we're sleeping, we can still hear. We may not register it consciously, but subconsciously we're registering things. So so with meditation. Like you said, there's so many different ways and, and uh, you know, I'll use the example of mindfulness. It's a wonderful technique. But you know what? If you haven't got a basic understanding of what you have to do, a lot of people get frustrated and say, I can't st study my mind. You know, it's going all over the place. Well, there's techniques to do before because mindfulness is an advanced technique. If you if you've never meditated before. It's like you're not going to run a marathon if you're just if you haven't run before, right? You've got to break yourself, make yourself aware of yourself, and so that's what this is. What I you know I'm I want to teach is just some steps. This is my way of teaching it. Somebody's going to turn around and say, "Well, she's doing it wrong." You know what? You're never doing anything wrong if it's going to work for you. What works for one doesn't always work for the other. So if you don't work for you, then that's okay. But it's it, these are simple techniques that we can all do. And the, the thing about meditation is people say, oh, well, I don't have time. I have this monkey mind and whatever. It's like meditation is what you do for yourself. It is your, it's part of self-care. And maybe you don't have an hour. Maybe you don't have 15 minutes. Maybe you don't have five minutes, but you've got two minutes. And we can find the time to just stop and drop what we're doing and just take a breather. And, and you know, that word, that terminology, a breather, that gives it, that should be a little trigger to say, oh, I just need to stop and breathe. And we don't breathe properly. And you can do, uh, you know, the yoga techniques. There's there's different breathing techniques. Um, I'm just, just going to show you one today that, that everybody can do, and you just start off with it. Um, I, I'm going to give you an example. My mother, she passed away, you know, uh, 13 years ago. But she used to have these uh, little anxiety attacks. And <laughs> I said, okay, mom, let's breathe. And so I just, I, I taught her how to breathe, you know, just to kind of your, your in breath, a holding and your out breath. And I said, whenever you feel that anxiety, just stop and just count your breaths. And one day she said to me, why did you wait so long to teach me this? <laughs> she said, it really works. And she was telling her sister and, it, and her sister thought it really works. So it, it's not, you can, you're not too old to learn it. And it's just it's bringing your focus on your breathing. 
Wow. Uh, so that's one technique. And another one I want to show you is just a, a you know, how do we relax? And it's a, a deep ra relaxation techniques that you'll find, you know, over a broad spectrum, whether you're doing hypnosis or self-hypnosis or, or any kind of a visualization. It's, it's bringing, bringing your awareness to your body because then you're bringing your 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 consciousness into your body a lot of times we we're in our head so much that we're not grounded and when you bring your awareness into your body then you can ground the energy well that sounds really cool so what's the first thing you want to show us let's okay. go I'll, I'll what, wanna... what, what, Put let's, it on let's uh, you know what we'll do is we're going to do some some breathing so we're just going to uh i'm just going to invite you to just you know like close your eyes and we're going to do some uh, some counting breaths so what i'm going to suggest is that we do and if you can't do it just do whatever you can but you're going to breathe into the count of three and as you're breathing in you're going to let your lungs fill up. So filling, you know, it's like filling a, a pitcher of water, you know, like as so that breath is going to fill your lungs and let the breath drop to the bottom of your lungs. You're going to hold it there for a count of three, and then you're going to release it for a count of three, just like you're pouring the water out of a jug. So we're going to do, we'll do just a, a few rounds of it. So, um, okay. So just Counting in, breathing to the count of three. So one, two, three, hold, two, three, and release, two, three. Again, breathe in, one, two, three, hold, two, three, and out, two, three. Again, breathe in, two, three, hold, two, three, and out, two, three. Just rest for a moment and just notice how you feel. And just open your eyes. I have to say, Terry, like it just makes a big difference. Like you can just feel your back muscles relax and the spine relax. And there's this, I noticed like most of my life, <laughs> like myself being anxious and clenching my teeth and clenching my neck. And, and whenever I have to take a deep breath like that, it's like, wow, have I been breathing? Like, I'm just like, you know, like we're just taking these quick, shallow breaths. Yeah, exactly. We take that shallow breath at the top of our lungs and we don't let it fully go down. And so by letting the air drop to your lung, taking that deep breath in and holding it, you're getting the oxygen to start to move through your system. Yeah, we're getting oxygen, but that's how you get that shortness of breath. You get that anxiety because we're not, we're not in, in, we're not fully integrating the energy that we're receiving. The breath is the breath of life. It's mm -hmm. what, what gives us that life force is the breath. And if we're just holding it here, we're not distributing it through the body. So just stopping and taking a, a couple of deep breaths and just do, you know, the cycles, but it's important to hold, uh, to hold it because you're, then you're letting it, it move through you. And then right. you, with that out breath, you're pushing out the old and stale energy. So, one, uh, one thing I believe it also will do like, you know, blood carries the oxygen through your body. So like certain parts of your body that need healing and need oxygen, we're not we're not getting enough. So it leaves our body in a state of acidosis, right? Right. So now here we are breathing, giving the blood cells more oxygen to flow, actually making our body more alkaline with the breath, right? With the oxygen. Exactly. And so, you know, I started off with a three, three, three breath. But you can expand that. You can go, you know, four, five, six, however long you can ho hold your breath. You know, so breathe in at that that's that rate, 
hold it and then release at that rate. So, you know, if you go, I mean, it can take you into, and there's all kinds of breathing techniques and that's not my purpose here. What I just want people to do is just, just become aware of their breath. You know, like you can go into an advanced practice, but, but advanced practice is great, but you know what, do something that you can do every day without having to, um, <clears throat> To, to set off a time. Yeah, set up a time that you're going to meditate. But breathing, we do all the time. It's yeah, you can do that while you were doing the dishes. You can remember to go one, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> well, and, and the other thing is, too, is if you've got that monkey mind that's got a million things going, when you're focusing on your breath and your breathing, that's all you're focusing on. You're you don't focusing. really focus on anything else. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So counting that breath is a good way to get into the relaxed state um to, for meditation so you know it's always good to start just by breathing and if you don't have the time to to spend in a long meditation just just bringing yourself back and that what that does is it also grounds you within yourself you know i think maybe that's why i like sage and um incense because they like you force yourself to breathe when you smell it you're like mm, this smells good so you're like deep breath <laughs> And, 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 you know, this is not, this is just an observation. Smokers are people who are actually breathing deeply, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, um, they, yes, they're, they're ingesting the, the smoke, but they also are, you know, they're working their lungs. And, and that's the real reason lungs. why they feel relaxed. It's not just the menthol. It's because you're taking these deep breaths. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that's funny. That, so, yeah what? so it's like i said it's not a judgment it's just it's just an observation, observation. You know? they, they they may have had something on us a, a while ago <laughs> yeah so so yeah so i'm going to show you another quick technique that we can do that you can it's, it's part of the breathing but now it's starting to bring awareness to the body so what we're going to do with this one is we're going to just imagine and I just, just on a aside here, imagination is really important. You know, like a lot of people can't visualize. Uh, a lot of people do visualize. A lot of people sense. Um, so if you're if you're having a difficult time saying, well, I can't, um, I can't visualize that. Just imagine it. Because as soon as we use our imagination, we're opening up the pathways in our light, in our right brain, and we're bringing in that the imagination comes from somewhere. So it's coming from a different, uh, from an expanded source of awareness. So, so anyway, going back, if you, what we're going to do is just um, feel like you're breathing in from the, the center of your foot, the bottom of your, the sole of your foot. And so you're going to breathe in up through the right side. And this is that, um, this is the electrical flow, the, the masculine part of our energy. So you're breathing in through the right side. And as you're breathing in, just notice how that flow of breath is coming. And then you're gonna stop at the center of your head and it's gonna to switch to the left side. And it's that magnetic, that, that uh, female part, um, that, um, that, that um, attractive part of the energy. So, so the right side is the electric and the left side is the magnetic. And we're gonna, as, as, as we breathe out, just notice as the energy flows out, are there any blockages or, or just how the flow is? Just, just notice how you feel. So uh, you can close your eyes and start to breathe in through the sole of your feet. So you're just gonna fill your lungs. So with that in breath, Flow up the right side of your body. Notice if there's any energy that's blocked, just gently move it, the breath through. Now, as you get to the top of your head, just rest here for a moment, hold the breath. And with your out breath, move down the left side and just notice as it moves from the top down through your torso and down out your leg and out through the left foot. Notice that flow of energy. Again, breathing in through the right foot, bringing it up to the top of the head. 
and allowing it to flow out through the left and out your left arm. And one more time, breathing in through the right foot, up to the top of the head, holding, and breathing out through the left. Right. Just sit for a moment here and just notice how you're feeling. And notice your, just your natural breath. And open your eyes. So? You know, it, it's interesting how you can say breathe through your foot and it's like, you're just like, huh, this is a different way of thinking of breathing. And I can feel like I can feel it. Like, it's just like when someone says something about your third eye and you like focus on that part of your body. So you're like, focus on that part of your foot. And I'm, I noticed like breathing in, it felt like very strong, like yeah. pull it up and it felt very strong. And then I could feel the energy sit here and then like, but releasing on the left side, it just seemed like effortless. Like, like, huh, it doesn't feel like you know, that, that same strong feeling as it did pulling in, as it did pushing out. Yeah, and, and so what you can mm -hmm. notice too, is that if you do this a few times, you can start to feel like, oh, I've got a bit of tension in my, in my shoulder here. And just that breath, by bringing your awareness with the breath, it helps to release some of that tension. I'm not saying it's going to just uh, magically cure you, but if you're feeling stressed, just that breath and just pushing out any of the stress, just pushing it out of the body with that out breath. It's amazing how it brings us to a center of calm. It brings us, it brings all our weird energies just focusing in through and just, just like, like um, creating a rhythm to them in and out. Yeah, it definitely is a feeling of your body working together as one mm -hmm. and just being aware of your body. You know, well, and, and I think the problem that we have in our society is we've got so many distractions and there's so much crazy energy. And listen, you know, 30 years ago, we didn't have cell phone towers. We didn't have cell phones. You, you know, like it was a different it was a different pace out there. Now we're bombarded by all kinds of energies and we forget what's mine and what am I picking up from somewhere else? And and so by bringing ourselves into our body, we're starting to like realize that, oh, wait a minute, there are boundaries here. This is me. And this other stuff is not me. But we take all that other stuff in and think, oh, it's me. Why am I so upset? Why am I so anxious? Meanwhile, it's just because you're picking up on on the other energies around you. So it's we're, we're, we're learning how to become aware of our energy system. Yes, that interference. We're getting a lot of interference and we're not aware of the different interference. Yeah, yeah. And, and suggestibility. Yeah. it's ours and it's not. Yeah. Yeah. I know it, every time I see something with food on it and I'm like, hmm, I want this food. And I'm like, wait a minute, I just saw this package. So I'm like, I know that I'm suggestible to these outside things, so... Let me separate and and take the thoughts that are actually mine and not the ones that are being put out here in the microwave first. Exactly, and it's and there's more and more of it. Be, we're inundated with it more and more, and so we get to a point where we just we kind of collapse in without realizing that we do have the ability to just say to build our energy field and say, "Nah, this ain't mine." <laughs> So how often would you say the people could do this? Like you well, could do this so, so anytime. Do the, I mean, the breathing, the more you do it, then the easier it becomes and you become, you, you, you create a habit, right? So if you do it, well, once every couple of days, well, that's not going to work. But if you do it on a, on a regular basis, every day, two or three times a day, when you think about it, 
I mean, just leave a sticky note on your computer, on your fridge, breathe, <laughs> you know, <laughs> just breathe. And then the, that's, that's just becoming aware of your breath. Right you know, next to the note this. that says, you're not hungry. Get out of the refrigerator. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Breathe in, Dad. Breathe in. <laughs> you know, th hey, there are people who are breathitarians that all they do is breathe and they get their life force from the breath. They don't eat anymore. They just breathe. So the air does have, the, 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 the breath does give us what we need. It's just that we're not trained for that. And, and perhaps, you know, in... 10,000 years, we'll all be breathitarians, but, but right now we're not. But so the first part is like, oh, we got to breathe. This is a sin. We're breathing in the <laughs> that life force, you know, and that's where really the life force is, is in the breath. That's where the frill is. That's where we, that's where the creativity comes in. And if we're not breathing in the life force and letting it flow through us, then we're just like, we're just like, you know, like just a, a recycling here and there because it's just, we're just using this top part and we're not into, into our, we're not allowing the flow through us. Well, this was cool. And Terry, we're going to hang out again next week. Okay. Actually, we're going to, I say that, but we're going to hang out again on Thursday, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going to stop this recording, you guys, and you better go and start breathing and put those sticky notes out there. Put the remote control, put it on the remote, put it on your phone, put your cell phone down and breathe. <laughs>